All right, all right, here we are. Beautiful Sunday morning in Jefferson City. It's barely windy at all. It's going to be awesome ride. Um, it's mostly downhill. Not a bad thing. And uh, it's only 60 miles going to a larger town. I am going to try to get my hair cut today if I can. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. This would be nice. From what I understand, um, the more I get towards, move towards Yellowstone, um, the better looking it's going to get too. So yeah. 10 miles done. It's just a casual, beautiful ride this morning. It's uh, awesome. And uh, I stopped at a little information uh, side on the side of the road and it just basically talks about how there used to be ice under the ground all the way into the summer in certain parts of this area that they called ice slaw. <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Anyway, uh, interesting fact. All right, 22 miles done. I mean, it's beautiful. Light, light headwind. Um, nothing aggressive wise. Traffic is almost zero. The shoulders are huge. The train's all the same though, that's the thing. I mean, it all looks pretty much like this. But look at these snow fences. This really must be an area that gets hit pretty hard. Just because uh, they're like double lined. And uh, apparently when these roads get bad, they close them down. Here's something else that I was uh, noticing, specifically the pronghorn. The pronghorn is the, apparently the second fastest land animal to the African cheetah. But there's an argument to say when you start defining what is speed, you can make an argument to say that it's the fastest because it can sustain speeds much longer than the cheetah can. Where the cheetah can. And um, the, the, what they're, they're saying is, is that the proghorn evolved that way because there was an American cheetah. And the pronghorn evolved in a way that can run very fast, but it can't jump very well. So the ranchers and um, others actually got uh, together and they decided that uh, on these fences, these fences down here, that since the pronghorns um, generally crawl under these fences, the first, uh, the first line of wire is not barbed. So it makes it easier for them to pass underneath. And uh, that way they can keep the cattle intact as well. I can't tell if this is BLM land or not. Um, it's all fenced, but I don't see any, I don't see any, you know, no hunting or do not trespass or anything along those lines. So this might be government land. Okay, this is called the Beaver Rim and Wind River Range. It is crazy cool, but I'm sure it's not coming out like it should, but it is. It's amazing. All right, 45 miles done. 48 miles done. I got about 10 more to go. Tired, hot. These lower elevations, really temperature really heated up. But, whew, almost there. Okay, I'm in Lander and I'm at the RV slash camping place and here is home. I actually get a great big shade tree. It looks like a picnic table too, so I'm pretty fired up. Um, nice sized town. There's a couple of restaurants really close. Still got COVID going on, so one or two of them allow for dining like on the patio. But that's, a pro that's pretty much about it, so that's all. Hey, I don't care. 
this is a this is a nice improvement and it's gonna get nice and cool tonight it doesn't feel hot already even though it feels like it's 95 it's probably 83 but uh, um, it doesn't feel humid so it's probably gonna get down to a really nice cool temperature so put up the tent get cleaned up drink uh, quite a bit of drink celebrate the fact that I've hit civilization and um, go get some food later okay I'm gonna go eat it's almost five o'clock got everything in the tent I got to take my bike to go eat but it's not too far away like three or four blocks um, and then I'm just gonna load up on liquids because it's hot it's 92 degrees right now and it isn't gonna start dropping for three more hours it stays 90 for three more hours um it's not going to drop as fast as i would had hoped it would which is fine it's dry the challenge is is that i've got 75 miles tomorrow and um it's a strong climb tomorrow so uh i'm gonna need to get an early start going to have to make sure that I really hydrate tonight and um, eat a good breakfast in the morning um, because uh, that's my only option but um, I found a camping place for tomorrow the temperature looks like it's five degrees cooler because of the altitude probably and I'm just going to go enjoy it go get it done and uh, and uh, off towards meeting Amy. Well, it looks like the magic of the tent is not as powerful as Wyoming sky. Had a nice big downpour, but not over my tent, so I don't think it officially counts. So, unless it rains tonight, the tent streak for rain every single time I put it up is uh, is over, so kind of hoping that the streak is broken.